everybody welcome back to disturbing creations diy and i got a little trick for you today so i am going to figure out how to make my closet look a little brighter don't you just hate when you go to your closet and it's kind of dark even if you have that one little light um, none of the light really reflects you can't really see what's on the end of the closets but I have a new technique for you that's going to make your closet look a lot brighter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy gloss paint white and we're going to turn this beige closet that looks really dark and it can't get to the clothing or anything at the end of the closet. Once we put this semi or uh, this gloss white paint on Everything is going to be reflective. One light is going to be able to bounce light all over. It's going to make this closet look immaculate and way different. And I promise you, you're going to want to do this on your own. You don't even need to buy new bulbs, higher bulbs, any of that stuff. Just get some really uh, small amount of white gloss paint and let's get right into it. All right, so we only got one more thing to do in this office uh, apartment that I'm doing, and that is this closet. So we already put the new window in here. We painted the whole room. We put a light in. Uh, we did all the drywall. Um, everything. Hey, Meadow. We did everything except we didn't paint this. So I wanted to show you before. Um, this is what it looks like before, and all I did was kind of wash it. It was a little dirtier than this. Um, as you can see, there's like a lot of marks and scratches. I do have to do a little tiny bit of drywall. Like I, I filled this little, let me get out of the way. I filled this little piece up here and you know, there's little nicks and stuff. It's really hard to see. I'm kind of getting tired of doing all this stuff. But um, once I painted the first time, my eyes will catch the nicks more because like all this stuff that's catching my eye, none of that is damaged. That's just bumps and stuff that are on the wall. It was even worse, but I washed it the first time. So then we're gonna do it once and then we're gonna come back, patch up all the nicks, the little, you know, spackles, and then um, get back on. But I did the other one, so neither closet was done. So I just did the other one. Let's go look at what the other one looks like. So. This is the other closet, <clears throat> but it's the closet in the front door where the hallway is. So you remember this was all yellow, yellow ceiling. So we did flat white on the ceiling, semi uh, here. Um, we kept the wood molding. We're going to restain the molding. We put the new door in. We put the new window in. We did all the uh, <clears throat> drywall, but now we're on the closet. So the closet was this color. And I, I didn't do this piece of wood because all of the molding in here is this nice wood. And I'm going to sand this down and restain all this nice wood here because nothing on my other property has nice regular wood. And I want to keep a nice regular wood look. I've never had that before. It's going to be interesting. Um, so like that's it. I don't know if there's some damage under under there. And that's why they put this piece of wood here. If this piece of wood is nailed down, we're going to keep this as well. We didn't paint that. And we didn't paint this because we're going to sand it down. So you can see from this color to the first paint. So first paint is like kind of like a, a <clears throat> it's like a prime, you know? So, okay. So here, look. So we didn't do the ceiling yet. So it's it's this yellow ceiling. And then there's like the prime to, to get it to stick. And then this is two, two coats. So the top is going to be flat and then this and when we're just doing everything all the way around um and, but not this piece we're going to sand that down so it makes your closet look amazing do you remember what the front closet of the first closet looked like and then one coat and then two coats and then the apartment or slash office or whatever you're doing is going to be done it only takes a little bit of paint to do an amazing job amazing turnover uh, like this. Uh, I'm not even going to waste the time to show you guys the paint that, that me painting. You, you can see me painting in all my videos all the time. But um, when we get this completely done, I'm going to show you the after of everything. We're going to put little shelves in. It's going to be nice. And just for 
maybe a hundred bucks. You could buy paint and a couple little wire shelves and put them in, put them in here, a little shelf, a little piece of wood, some scraps you got around the house, you can make something, you know what I mean? And it's gonna be really nice. This is gonna be a really nice project to add. So this is the closet all done and painted. And as you can see, it looks much better. It looks just way cleaner. Um, you can see the light reflecting up there where I can actually see what's in the corner. I can see behind the clothes now. It's not dark anymore. Like it was that weird yellowy beige color. But now since I put um, semi uh, gloss, it reflects the sun. So it looks way, way better. Even all the way back, it finally just has a shadow all the way in the back. And this side, you can even see, and you, you see it's like two feet from the wall here. You know, there was no reflecting, and now I, I, I can see all my pool stuff. It's just immaculate. Let's go look at the other closet. And here's the other closet. So there's no sun, and I only have the one light. But you can see, like, I can see all up in the top now. Like, um, I, I just, it was so depressing putting anything in there. I could see all my wires, all my stuff, my helmet. I could see behind the clothes, you know. And I could put all my, like, building supply tools, my power washer and stuff in here. And there's not, like, a bunch of holes in the wall and marks all over the wall. It actually... It looks like a happier closet to me and it makes me want to use it a lot more. So I hope this helps you out and um, hope this makes your day and give us a like and uh, uh, subscribe. Um, 